I don't know, if I could pick any place for psychic lightning to shoot from my body, my eyeballs isn't necessarily the first place I'd pick, but maybe they don't have options. Alright ladies and gentle dudes, update video number 5. Let's get right in with channel news. First we're going to talk about some new New Year's hobby resolutions that came in from last week. And then we're going to discuss Papa's Commission Corner. Um, better name pending. First off, Pixel Mini Forge says they'd like to reach 300 Instagram followers. They want to paint at least one commission. They want to build and paint the Metal Gear Rex model their girlfriend bought for them. And they want to get better at understanding non-metallic metal placement and colors. Sasha wants to reach 1,000 Instagram followers. Ladies and gentle dudes, I'll just pause right here. Go right now. I'll allow it, okay? Just go right now and give this person a follow. In, in fact, if you see anyone's name on here, just go give them a follow. That's, let's help each other out. That's kind of the, the community we want to build especially my man Sasha, right? So many models that he's painted are like photos I've saved for inspiration, not realizing it was all from, from one person. Incredible. Just go right now and follow Sasha. Next, he'd like to achieve smoother blends, uh, if that's even possible. And finally, he wants to purchase a second 3D printer. I believe there was a mention of just to make the wife mad or something, but I'm not going to put it in writing so it can't be used against you. I got you, buddy. And finally, New Texican 85 wants to start a painting Instagram. You do that. You go. Uh, want to establish some groundwork and get some stuff ready for commissions. Would like to improve basing techniques and wants to improve overall painting, especially eyes and blends. I will try to... Uh, put a thing up in the corner on one of the best videos I've seen for painting eyes. It's how I do it all the time. And you should see a thing pop up any minute now. And there it went. Okay. Finally, if you are someone that has some hobby resolutions, go and put them down below. Uh, if you're in the hobby house, put it in the new year, new hobby goal thing channel. Uh, if not, just put it down in the comments, and I'd love to discuss, I'd love to bring it up. The whole point of this thing is to help keep each other accountable. If you are someone that has put your hobby resolutions in here, please let me know when you when you meet one, right? Um, when you check it off your list or whatever, just let me know so I can celebrate it. We, as a community, can celebrate us reaching our goals. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the Papa's Commission Corner. Now, again, that name is just pending because we haven't really discussed it yet. Um, just kind of got the, the key base details. Essentially, these are going to be stories, walkthroughs, or cautionary tales, mostly regarding commission painting. Now, either this is when you have your first commission or how to start up commission painting. This is kind of a all-encompassing getting paid money, dealing with someone else type of thing. Uh, we're going to have a lot of good information here. Uh, it's, technically, it's all good, but we're going to be discussing some good practices like uh, prep steps, disclaimers, legal considerations, outreach assistance, getting your first commission, how to communicate effectively, what to do if they decide to change their mind a little bit during the middle of a commission, some cool tips and tricks for packing and shipping, um, things you can do to lock in repeat customers and then using your customers to secure your next commission either with them or with someone else. We'll also cover some bad things like what happens if you feel you're not good enough? What happens if you don't know how to start? There's a lot of marketing confusion out there. Who knows? Where do you spend your money? Do you spend money? Do you just work on hashtags and things like that? What happens if you can't land customers? What happens if a deal goes south? And how do you deal with non-payment? And then finally, I want to talk about some helpful things we're going to work on. Uh, we would like to start working on some downloadable assets like a legal template, Excel document, spreadsheet, things like that. Getting started checklist, a gear list, some pricing suggestions and considerations. The good thing is if you're part of the hobby house, you have direct access to hobby suppliers, be it paint, basing materials, models, things like that. 
you are in direct conversation with current commission painters and studios, other people who are kind of the same boat as you, uh, people who've been doing it for years. It's awesome, right? This is this is the whole point of me starting the Discord is because I wanted this to be what we could give back. We can help each other out here, and then eventually we can push this out to others. So if you have stories that you'd like to share, please let me know. I want to be putting out a video that has a good thing, a bad thing, and potentially a link to a helpful assets. So that way we're not, I'm not making a billion videos. It's just there's a good thing, a bad thing, and then something that you can, a takeaway, shall we say. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about my projects. First off, I've hit 15,000 views on my channel. That is incredible. Thank you so much. I know that you guys are all a big, huge part of it. If you're watching right now, you are literally one of the people that helped me get here. So thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I'm really excited to see what 2021 has for the channel, what it has for the group, what it has for the Discord and the hobby in general. I'm super stoked and I can't wait. So thank you so much for sticking out in the hobby. Thank you for deciding to figure out what I'm all about and continuing to watch it even this far. All right. So this is actually a commission uh, that I had months ago. This is a second wave commission for the giant space wolves when I did. I did some custom work here on the Indominus Captain right over here. I used a Liber Demonica shield, and then I changed his power sword up to a different angle. This is the Judicier. I have a massive chain sword, and it's pointing at someone else because the hourglass was weird. And then we have Assault Intercessors with um, Liber, sorry, Puppets War Thunder Hammers. And then these are Liber Demonica Space Wolf shields over here as well. And I guess the same guys right there. This is a sneak preview at a little secret commission I'm doing. I'm not going to say who this is for. Uh, I am going to say that I'm super duper excited to be working on this for them. It's going to be a fun project. So just, just stick around. Know that really cool stuff is in the works. And you guys will all be a part of it. Okay, works in progress. Space Toy with his Hedonites of Slanesh dude here. So this is his tabletop standard. I think for tabletop, that is incredible. Well done. Like there's some more work over here, getting ready for that. I believe this was for a Kickstarter. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Space Toy, but I, I, th I thought you said this is for a, a Kickstarter that you painted up for. I really like the aesthetic here. Super cool, nice shield, nice NMM, really. It looks easy but it's extremely convincing and that is incredible and then this was the daddy daughter crafty paint day and this is the i think the same ghoul right yeah the same little goose ghosty ghoul thing here that his daughter painted up incredible work i love it hey incredible and love sweet next hellhound minis with her sylvaneth conversion looks creepy i like the chain for the face little chain loincloth Lost Hammer painting with his assassin. Is this Eversor? I think it's Eversor, right? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, someone said it was giving him some sweet Eddie Murphy vibes. The spandex is really good. I like that, man. That's good. I like the, the intentional highlights and the volumes there. Next up, we have Min Bam Market working on a helmet or I guess a mask for somebody. That's awesome. I think you said that was well, not putty. What is that? Clay? I don't know, man. Grout? I don't, I don't know. It looks cool. Go ahead and tell me what that helmet is from, though. I don't know what that mask is from. I know it looks good, and I know that your other stuff that you've put out there is really awesome. I just don't know what that one's from. Happy Heretic showing off his nasty Nurgle Boys. Dude, I love, I'm going to say, I don't even care. I love your oils. Just the different coloration you have and where it hits the recesses and all these cool gradation of it. It looks sick, man. Like, literally sick, but cool. Cool and sick. This is a Zorn. I don't know what it's from. I think it was a, a Reaper miniature, a D&D &D thing. I'm not sure. It looks disgusting. Um, are those eyeballs all over the place? Eyeballs, extra weird hands, and then a, a mouth head? Sick. Here is, I think you said Mortal Realms? Ooh, I think it was that. A little 28 mil soldier here little greek dude i think it's greek 
Ooh, I need to buff up on my history, eh? Sound really Canadian there. Ooh. Not that there's anything wrong with sounding Canadian, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not that. So, anyway, back to the, the guy who's probably Greek or Roman. One of those two. See? Colors. Plumes. Dirt. Very coliseum -y. And then these are, I, I can't know how it's spelled, man. So they're Greek T-O-X-O-T-E-S. Now, if that were Spanish, that'd be like a tojote, which I don't know, that's a thing. Or I'm just going to call them toxotes because that is intentionally incorrect. So if I'm saying it wrong on purpose, then I guess it's still bad. I don't know. I don't know. They look cool, though. Next up, we have completed projects. Shades of War Studio showing off this Space Wolves Redemptor Dread, just giving it to these Thousand Suns traitors. That is how they should be. They should be getting vice gripped in one hand, whilst splatted upon on the other foot. The diorama is incredible. The rock and the snow looks great. I like that you magnetize, that's good. Well done with the magnetization there. Oh, it brings me so much joy. Look at his grape just getting smashed. And that's cool too that you let, let the uh, canopy open up. You know, a lot of people just kind of skip that part or glue it because it's like, well, I'd rather not paint all that extra stuff. And you didn't. And that's brave. That's brave, Shades of War Studios. Well done. I think you had this thing sold out within like a couple hours of being on eBay. It definitely makes sense. Oh man, and here it is, gripping the one, stomping the other one. <clears throat> I'm a happy wolf right now. Okay, next we have, is this Grandmaster Voldus? Oh. Seems like that's a name that this guy would have. I like the eyes. The eyes look really convincing. That's good. Really cool psychic lightning from the eyeball sockets. I don't know, if I could pick any place for psychic lightning to shoot from my body, my eyeballs isn't necessarily the first place I'd pick, but maybe they don't have options. And here we go with Sasha. Now, this is what I was talking about with like him saying he wants smoother blends. This does not look real. It doesn't look like a mini. It looks like a statue that's sitting outside. I love it, man. That is so sick. This Middle Ages Mandalorian. Mm, 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 mm. I like that plinth. Then BB Miniatures rounding it off with this battle tank here with some cool netting. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Netting, and then you got the flowers, the rust. Ooh, that rust is so convincing. I like that, man. Well done. These are white scars, right? Ooh, I don't know. That looks a lightning bolt, or there's the Thousand Suns. I don't know. That looks Egyptian, but there's like double lightning. Just tell me what it is, okay? I'm, I don't, I'm so focused on like the moss and the the rust. That is amazing work, amazing work. And then rounding it off, we got Will Paints with his Gilliman. Now, see, the thing is, I would normally say Girly Man Rowboat, but when it's painted that well, you have to say the real name just once. Now. Since I've already said his name properly, I have to end it with, Will, that is a fantastic looking Robo Girly Man. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. This is a lot shorter, but that's what happens when you don't wait three weeks. Thank you so much for submitting your stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have an awesome, awesome day.